In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Shining Fates to see why it is one of the best sets to invest in right now in this crashing Pokemon market. But let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing great. In this video, we're gonna be taking a deeper dive into Shining Fates. I've already done one video of doing a deeper dive into Hidden Fates. And in this video, we'll be looking at Shining Fates. Part of the mini series I'm gonna be doing on the channel where we're taking a look at different modern day sets and seeing where they are in the market right now. Some of the sealed product and the single cards because this is the time to collect and invest right now. There are reprints across the board for these sets but they are due to go up in value and so now is the best time then let's take a look at the sealed products first okay so first off we have the shining fates etb now i absolutely love shining fates and this is a brilliant product it is super cheap right now looking at prices over on tcg player at the average market price we're looking at around 69 dollars for the shining fates etb and right now that is an absolute steal pickup now it has been dropping massively over the past few months with various reprints but it is now starting to trickle up more and more as we see less and less of it being reprinted and it's slowly disappearing from shelves now this is a great product to pick up it does come with 10 booster packs and it does come with the awesome looking evv max promo dice the dividers and the sleeves as well. This is a brilliant product to pick up for such a cheap value right now. It's so good. There are also a bunch of other products from Shining Fates like different collection boxes and mini tins and normal tins. These are all brilliant priced right now. They're all dropping in cost. So now is a brilliant time to go and pick up anything Shining Fates. Like I say, great set, great value. However, the single card prices have been dropping incredible amounts. I mean, things are dirt cheap right now. But if you are looking to pick up a master set of Shining Fates, buying the singles right now is the way to go because getting all of the shinies are very difficult in this set. So I would suggest doing that. And we're going to take a look now at some of the single cards, some of the more high-end top and single cards and seeing where their prices lie because they have dropped by a bit and looking at the shining fates single booster packs we're looking at an average market price of around six dollars forty so it is pretty cheap so if you get an etb around that 69 dollars mark then getting 10 packs plus the evv max promo and everything else you do get in there it is a pretty good value now the prices of the packs are dropping go alongside the dropping prices of the single cards like i say that makes it a perfect time to collect a high class set just like this one. All right, now we're going to take a look at the single cards. To start off, we are looking at the shiny Charizard V Max, the biggest card in the set. Absolutely amazing card. But the prices have been dropping over time. Raw price right now on eBay is around $120. But it has dropped from that really high peak earlier in the year upon release because we're getting a ton of reprints. They're available on the market right now. And there are just more out there of this Charizard. However, in a PSA 9, we're looking at an average price of around $220 on eBay, which is actually quite a big jump. We're looking at $100 difference in a PSA 9. However, in a PSA 10, we are looking at an average eBay price of around $478, which is a big jump from a PSA 9. I mean, a massive jump. This card is worth grading if you pull one and if it is well centered and in good condition, then I would definitely suggest sending that off to get graded. It is a hard card to get and it is a beautiful looking one as well. Next card we're going to look at is the Suicune Baby Shiny. Now, this is the most expensive baby shiny. Now, Shiny Fates has a ton of them. This is the highest market value one at a raw price of around $20 on eBay and in a PSA 9, we are looking at $64 as the average price on eBay. And in a PSA N, we are looking at $187. This is absolutely crazy. It's a huge jump. This is a very hard card to pull. I haven't pulled one myself. It's been very difficult to get one, but it is a great one to get graded and to grade well. So this is the second most expensive card right now in Shining Fates. Next up, we have the Full Art Trainer Skylar, which I personally, alongside the Charizard, is my favorite card of the set. Both those two are joint first for me. Raw price right now on eBay, we are looking at around $13 for a Skylar. It's quite cheap. It is not that expensive. You see a lot of these cards in Shining Fates aren't actually that expensive, apart from the Charizard. The Skylar has dropped massively in price. However, in a PSA 9, we are looking at $45 recently sold on eBay in a PSA 9. 
and a PSA 10, we are looking at $125 for the Full Art Skylar. So this card is incredible. It is one of the base cards of the set and I absolutely love it. Again, another great card to get graded. Overall, the prices are dropping. Next up, we have the Shiny Ditto VMAX. This is actually one of the cards I did as a giveaway for reaching 100 subscribers on the channel way back when and this card has dropped massively in value since then right now you can pick it up raw price on ebay for around ten dollars is very cheap however in a psa 9 we're looking around 75 dollars on ebay which is a great price and in a psa 10 we're looking at around 118 dollars which is an incredible cost which is incredible value at a psa 10 so again great card to get graded but the raw price is quite low Next up, we have a gold card, and it is the Eternatus VMAX. Now, right now, raw price on eBay, we're looking at around $9, so it's very cheap for a gold card. However, in a PSA 9, we are looking at around $20 to $21 in a PSA 9. In a PSA 10, we are looking at around $50 in a PSA 10 right now, which is really good. I have to admit that it's a very good, but that is the Eternatus VMAX for a gold card. And lastly, we're actually going to look at another gold card, which is the Eternatus V from Shining Fates. Now, raw market price is around eight to nine dollars. So it is very cheap. However, this is a card to get graded because in a PSA nine, it is fifty five dollars. Huge jump in the PSA 10. We're looking at around ninety eight dollars on eBay for a PSA 10 of this card. So this is a brilliant card to get graded. However, like I say, the raw prices, if you want to complete your master set, this is so cheap right now to so make sure you go and snatch these up at a really good price. So those are the single cards for Shining Fates. Like I said before, this set has been reprinted so much recently and it only has just come out earlier on this year. Will we see more prints of Shining Fates down the line? Possibly. Does that mean the single card prices will drop even more? Yes. But I do feel like, like Hidden Fates, it doesn't get printed as much or reprinted as much as a normal standard set, you know, like a Chilling Rain or an Evolving Skies. It is just a high class set, so it tends to have a little bit less of a print run this is a brilliant set to invest in just like hidden fates was both these high class sets are amazing set people do enjoy opening them i enjoy opening them shining fates has some incredible cards that grade very well and have a very high graded price if you're a person that likes to grade cards then there are a ton of cards in here if you get a good grade they're worth a lot of money but if you're someone that just wants to collect the peter master set again it is another great product to pick up because the single card prices are so cheap right now. And if you are a sealed collector, the ETBs have dropped at their lowest price they've been. They are starting to tick up. I've seen it rising. And as you can see from the graph, they are on the rise again. Who knows how high they will go. So guys, it's entirely up to you whether or not you decide to invest in Shining Fates. I believe it's a great set. I've invested a lot in Shining Fates and I'll continue to as long as it remains cheap right now. And that's it really. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button for more Pokemon content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Legends.